Hey everyone, it's Dave again. Uh, this week I'm going to try my hand at machine polishing. Um, I've never done it before, I don't want to ruin the whole car, so I'm just going to go with the bonnet. Uh, as I've shown you in a previous video, the bonnet's pretty knackered anyway, needs a good respray, so I'm going to see what it does. Uh, if I ruin it, hey, I'm going to respray it anyway, it doesn't matter. So, I hope you enjoy. Right then, so in order to clean this car, please don't hang me in the comments because I know I'm going to do this wrong, but this is just so I can get the panel clean. Uh, I am using a bucket of car soap from Tesco. Yeah, finest melon and cucumber flavour. And uh, a bucket and sponge. Uh, once I've done that, I'm going to clay bar it. Uh, I have found on eBay a cheap little kit um, with a fine detailing clay bar. A quick and slick gloss detailer. Iron fallout um, remover, type spray, whatever the hell it is, and uh, a little bit of wax, only a little gram, yeah, you know, a 30 gram type tub, but hey, whatever. Found that all on eBay um, by a company called Pure Definition, so never heard of them. Let's give it a try. Okay, so that's the bonnet all washed and dried. Um, as you've just seen, it's not in the greatest of conditions. Uh, so let's make a start. What I'm gonna do first of all is use this fallout remover. And we'll, I just, I'm just curious, really. I wanna see what level of uh, contamination's in this bonnet. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty honking, but let's let the chemical tell the truth. Okay, we're about three, four minutes in now, and uh, we're really starting to bleed now. Look at this. Quite impressed with that. It's, uh, it's not as much as I would have thought that it, there would be, but what there is, it's massive. Some serious contamination in this bonnet. Uh, now, the idea of this stuff is never let it dry. So, I think I've gone and pushed this as far as I want to. I'm going to give this a quick rinse now, and uh, and then we'll get on with the clay bar. Okay, so here's a little close-up of what the panel actually looks like now. Uh, it is very difficult to show on camera, but you can see the difference between the shiny wing and a very dull matte uh, bonnet there. Uh, you can also see little signs of damage this looks to me like that for example like um, someone's had a lot of stone chips in their past and they've touched it up with like a little touch-up pen type thing and then are all around it like up here for example this bit here and um, we've had other stone chips that have occurred not been touched up and also the actual panel around the the rest of the stone chip paint has faded so we've got little bits of dull red, we've got little bits of gloss red, it's a mess, that's why it's getting resprayed to be honest, but I just figured we'd give it a shot with this uh, with this machine polisher and see what happens, just to teach myself really, that's the point of this YouTube channel, so uh, I'm going to go and get the kit out and we'll see. Okay, so now it's time to give this a quick glay, uh, now what I'm using is, uh, like I said earlier, this quick gloss and detail stuff, it's uh, advertise their clay lube and I've just cut myself off a little section of the clay it's um, really stickier than I thought it would be so yeah let's we'll see if this works shall we now then before I started doing this you really could feel the contaminants in this paint I mean it was like rubbing your hands across sandpaper so now I just thought I'd give it a quick clay detail uh, I've never actually done this before so yeah, let's give it a go. Oh yeah, you can feel everything coming out of the paintwork there. I mean, 
you can't actually see a lot coming out, but you can definitely feel it. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. That's looking a bit, uh, a bit worse for wear, that. Well, I've got to say that was uh, that was actually pretty good. Um, you could feel quite a lot of the, uh, the contaminants coming out on this clay. Uh, it's pretty good clay, to be honest. It's a really good clay lube as well. Uh, I'm just going to give this a quick wash and then uh, dry it, and we'll get on with the machine polishing. All right, here we go then. Uh, as you can may or may not be able to tell, this feels so much smoother. I mean, with the obvious exceptions of the raised paint for the stone chips, it feels listen way smoother than it was so let's get on with the polishing okay so for this bit uh, I'm not going to use any particularly good cutting compounds or anything like that I'm just going to use teacup because I'm using this panel to teach myself how to use the DA polisher so teacup will do it's, it's inexpensive and it will sort of do the job I know it's not the right product but again this is just for the purposes of teaching myself how to do this so um, let's give it a shot and see what happens Okay, so I've put five little dots, six-ish, uh, on the pad. Um, let's get it spread across the panel. Okay, so with the speed setting on one, let's spread it out. Okay, so that's the product spread out. Let's turn the speed up and see how it goes. Wow, did you look at that? That was orange when it started. Okay, so uh, now that we've put the compound on and we've rubbed it off with the DA polisher, um, did about three or four passes in each direction, so vertical, horizontal, and now it's time to buff it. Now, this, this kit that I bought came with a microfiber cloth. Now, it looks all right. Let's open it and have a look. That feels like the kind of blanket my cat would lie on. Um, it's nice and thick. It's edgeless. Um, it's quite nice actually. Let's uh, let's give things a buff and see what happens. Already, I mean, you've just seen that in real time. Already, it's looking a million times better. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so over here, on the left side of the tape, we have the unpolished version. On the right, we have the polished version. So let's have a quick comparison, shall we? It's nice and flat. And you can actually see my reflection in that one. Nothing. There I am. Nothing. Peekaboo. That sort of thing. That is quite impressive. Now let's get this tape off and have a look. Now I know it's difficult to see on camera, but you can see there my reflection, there's a line where I have polished and where I haven't polished. That, considering that's just teacup, that's quite impressive. Now, that said, uh, I do actually have uh, another set of um, polishes and whatnot, 
uh, this is the sort of thing that I'm going to do in another video. Uh, I'm going to do a, uh, an unboxing of it and I'm going to do a review. I'm going to use the products from the rest of the car, you know, the paint that I'm actually going to try and save. Um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, in the meantime, this will be repainted. This is just an experiment. But uh, yeah, let's do the other side and see how it goes. Okay, so this is just for comparison. This is the driver's side of the bonnet. This is the wing. You can see some nice reflections in there. It's, it's good paint. This is the bonnet. This is dull and flat and almost a little bit pink. I mean, you can probably see the, the colour difference best just here. Nice and red, nice and pink. Um, that's a mess. So I'm going to tape off this side. I'm going to polish this side. And then we'll come back and have a look what happens later on. Now then, I've just had a random bloke pull up at the side of the street. Never met this guy before in my life. I've got a DA polisher in my hand, I'm polishing away. Ask me what I'm doing. Hey, now I tell you what, that's turned out pretty damn good, that. Look, you can see my reflection in it and everything. I've even managed to get in there. That was pretty good, that. Right, now then, moment of truth. Let's get this tape off and have a look, see what it looks like. Back up. Ready? Yeah, no, would you look at that? You can see my reflection in both sides. Look at that. You know what? The bonnet actually feels way smoother than the wing now. I mean, obviously, I didn't wash the wing. I've not compounded it or anything, but that's that's not bad at all. I mean, except the obvious bits of damage that you can see there, but that's turned out all right. That I quite like it. So, yeah, that's not bad. That I, I kind of like the way that pops. So what I'll do now is uh, I'll get the old um, polish out, we'll give it a hand polish and uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Right, now it's time to wax. Uh, I've got this little 30 gram tub of wax, um, midnight reflection apparently. Um, let's wipe it on with a, I've got a clean microfiber cloth here, it's right behind the camera. Um, rub it on, let it haze and then uh, I've got a like a microfiber head for the DA polisher and we'll just polish it right off. So let's give that a go. It smells like bubblegum. Yeah, I'm just getting down nice and low so you can get a, a good angle with the sun. Uh, otherwise it's very difficult to see where it's actually gone on. Okay, so that's gone on nice and easily now. Um, Let's leave it a few minutes, let it, let it haze over, and then uh, we'll polish it off with the microfiber head on the DA. OK, 
okay so this is now looking way better i mean look at the actual shine here that feels like glass i mean again obviously apart from things like the the paint repairs but they actually don't feel as bad as they did that feels like an absolute mirror i even managed to get all these polished right in these little gaps in between the chevrons the actual chevrons themselves um if you look it's actually got quite a gloss sheen to it i'm uh, i'm very impressed with that now then here's for the litmus test we've got a jug of clean cold water let's see how it beads oh would you look at that oh yeah that pleases me absolutely no residue whatsoever way impressed so that turned out way better than i thought it would um i expected that to be no pun intended a polished turd um because i was only using teacup and it was my first time but considering it's my first time i thought i did pretty well with that um it has been waxed and let's see how long the protection lasts um as for the uh, pure definition products i i recommend them i for the price of them i think they're only about like 30 quid for the set but uh, yeah, really, really good products. I, I expected them to be a bit naff, you know, eBay special company you've never heard of. But yeah, really good. Shout out to you guys. Uh, in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind uh, giving this video a like, uh, ringing the bell and subscribing, I would be most appreciative. It does help the channel. Uh, and I'm really enjoying this. So help me out to help you out. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so this is the weekend of the British Grand Prix in 2020. This crazy Formula 1 season, this crazy, crazy year. Um, here's a shout out to a good friend of mine from Woodlands Campsite at Silverstone. His name is Alan! I wonder if anyone's found him yet. If you do, let me know.